So John, obviously 3-1 defeat today, you must be sort of disappointed with that. Of course, um, we deserve to get beat as well, mm -hmm. I've got no issues with that. Um, I thought we started okay, then they scored two quick goals. And once again, our Achilles heel, as it has been for some time, has been defending. Um, and I think that was our Achilles heel today. I thought we started quite bright, I thought we got back in the game at 2-1 as well. Give us a little foothold, I thought we had a penalty for handball. Uh, not given, that's football, I understand that. Come out second half and the game become a bit of a non-entity with no chances and put one ball over the top of our defence beat us. 3-1 game was over. Uh, but it's not good enough and uh, I, I understand it. Brilliant, and obviously one, one win in nine now. Are you sort of starting to be a bit concerned about that? Um, no, I'm, I'm, not saying I'm, con I'm not saying I'm concerned. I think a lot of it is more disappointment because um, from start of the season um, I, I would expect us to be in and around the top group like we were last year um, and our goals suggest we can do that but defensively we're not coping very well um, through any of the combinations I'll be, be quite honest with you which I have to understand that's on the manager I'll bring the players in uh, but when I look at who we had here last year um, got us into the playoffs, We've got Craig Robson, had Scott Doe, uh, we added Kevin uh, and Bonds, but whatever combination we've used, and this was even when we were, were on a good run, we were still conceding goals too easy, and that, that's been our Achilles heel, uh, we have to try and address that, but I'm not sure that we are in a position at the moment to address that, but we'll have to see. And obviously conceding goals, but decided to make a couple of changes at the back today with Sam Ling and Scott Doe missing no, out. No, Sam, uh, Sam Ling injured, mm -hmm. uh, Scott Doe unavailable. Okay, and obviously Bond's coming back, do you think he can maybe be a help to sort of... The well, this is his first game back, we, we don't know, you know, mm -hmm. uh, he went, we, we loaned him out for a little while. He will, we'll have to, you know, another week's training, we'll have to... We're constantly searching for the best combination defensively, mm -hmm. um, and... Uh, when we think we found it, because we went, a, I think we went on a little run of games where we weren't conceding. When we think we found it, it comes back to haunt us. So we'll have to keep looking. And obviously, bad record in the against racism day, and that sort of continued as well today. But is the ce celebration important to you? Or? No, of course it is. I think I think that the the, the day itself is, is a fantastic day. Mm -hmm. um, I think that it's something that. Um, not just football, I just think it's a global thing. We should all be doing something uh, about any isms, racism, sexism, anything. I think everyone has to do the best they can. So the day itself is a fantastic day. Um, but the day for us football-wise was, was a poor day. And now obviously moving forward, away to Halifax, get yeah. a long trip. What are you sort of expecting from that one? So, well, I say every week, you know, when, when, when things are disappointing, the only thing you can do is respond to disappointment. You know, I've been very fortunate. I've done this job for years. And been, you know, I'm not blaming on Trump. Trump have been very successful at doing it, but I've not won every game. I've not won every. I've not won every season. You know, sometimes things don't go for you, but it's the same as anything else. Is in, in adversity, everyone has to be strong. So, roll on Monday back to work. And do you know much about Halifax? Squad I know everything about Halifax. <laughs> um, so we, we go there. We'll be ready. We'll be prepared. And we'll be confident. Um, and hopefully we can, we, we can get three points. And obviously one last thing going back to today's game, some strong words from the fans at the end. What Listen, absolutely, that? because people have to remember this, I'm also a supporter of this club. Mm -hmm. um, and we haven't played well today. But you know, I always say this, this, this to fans, what, that look, at, look at where the club were, you got relegated, happens. We bounced back fantastic last year, give everyone a good season, and we was just a bit unlucky to the, the eventual winners um, in, in, in Forest Green. Um, and we've had a good run this year. And we're a little bit of a, bit of a disappointing time at the moment. It's football, mm -hmm. but supporters support their team, critics criticise their team. Uh, time to criticise is not now. Uh, I don't believe that serves that any particular. It doesn't bother me in particular. It's not anything that concerns me because I know how hard I work. I know how hard the people work, and it's always disappointing. But you know what? Supporters are supporters, and that's what they do. So, listen. 
all over the country, whoever you are, wherever you go. Um, I went to a Bristol City game, um, not that well, a fair while ago, and there was banners out for the manager to get sacked. They played Manchester City and Manchester United now, and I think it's wonderful. That's football, so mm -hmm. move on from that. Okay. And obviously one last question, transfer deadline day on Wednesday, are you worried about sort of any bids coming in? Um, well, I, I can tell you that um, a little while back we turned down a bid for a player. Mm -hmm. um, we'll see what comes in. Um, if the bid is the right bid, I'm sure that the club will look at it and decide. But we haven't got one yet that, that is what we want. Or if we get one, we get one, we'll look at it, but we don't know yet. And do you mind if I ask who that You can ask me anything is? you want. You can ask me, but I won't tell you. <laughs> Not right yet. Okay, when, when the window's closed, I'll tell you. Brilliant. Cheers. Thanks, Jack. Thanks, Thanks very much. much.